What's up guys, welcome back to the Breathwork channel. If this is your first time here, I am grateful that you are here. The Breathwork channel is all about how to unlock your infinite potential using breathwork and somatic healing. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of both. We're gonna be talking about somatic breathwork, allowing ourselves to really use the power of our body to heal stuck emotion, to heal and liberate stuck trauma that has been in our bodies for decades. So let's get right into today's content. Let's break down the word somatic for a second. So soma means body in Greek. And so when we're talking about somatic practices, that's body based practices. And at Pause Breathwork, we believe that 80% of the work happens in the body, 20% is the mind. So my background was mindset coaching. I did mindset coaching for years and years and years and years and years. And when I found breathwork, or I should say, when breathwork found me, I was in Bali about 13 years ago, and I was struggling with disordered eating and body image issues, and I was trying to think my way out of the pain that I was experiencing, I realized that there's this modality called breathwork that connects my mind and body and helps heal. I was literally blown away, no pun intended, or was that a pun intended? I don't know. I was blown away. And I realized that, wow, we have this ability to heal ourselves. And so I really believe that 20% of spiritual development, 20% of, of personal development is all about the mind creating the, the, the map of where we're going to go. And then that 80% is us actually being in our body, feeling through everything that we get to feel through, liberating the stuck consciousness in our system, in our body so that we can actually live lives more of wholeness. And so somatic breath work is about using the breath to integrate into the body so that we can begin to feel all of these little parts of us inside that are begging for our attention, that are begging for our love, that are begging for our awareness. You've probably heard of the term inner child. Well, we don't just have one inner child. We have a whole preschool down there of inner children that all have different needs. And those needs are often spoken to us in contraction or anxiety or stress or fear or whatever it is. And if we're not aware and we don't use somatic practices, then we can kind of override the need of, of these parts and try and work our way out of them. So maybe there's a need that's like, I'm, I'm just, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. And if we don't get into the body using somatic breath work, the mind will say, well, if you're afraid, let's just work harder then. If you're scared, maybe it's a security thing. Maybe you need to make more money. Let's just make more money. And we're not actually healing the parts of us that really need our love and really need our attention. And so using breath work, we're able to really get into the body. We're able to meet the parts of us that are trying to reach us, trying to get our attention. And when we actually feel them, we begin to heal them. These parts are only healed through the direct experience of being in the body. So breathwork is that opening technique to allow us to really feel into our body, get into the body, really feel through those parts of us that need our support. And it can be as simple as a three to five minute experience to just open our system up and drop deep into our body to begin to feel some of those parts. Somatic breathwork has this sustainability and longevity to it when it comes to personal transformation and spiritual development. When we're just working with the level of the mind, we can do a lot of mindset work or maybe we say a lot of affirmations, but if we're not changing the consciousness in the body, then we're gonna do all those affirmations or do all that mindset work. And then what we're gonna find ourselves in is back where we started. I'm curious if you've been in that situation, let me know in the comments below if you have. I know I definitely have myself over the years going to mindset conferences and seminars and things like that where I'm changing my mind, I'm working to change my mind, but I'm not addressing the body. And remember that 20% is important, right? The mind needs to focus on something. 
if the thoughts in the mind all day long is I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, it's really important for us to take control of the mind and focus our attention and focus our awareness on where we want to go, asking ourselves better questions. And once we do that, then it's about getting into the body using somatic breath work, getting into the body and actually healing everything that is believing that we are not good enough. All of those stuck parts, all of those little small parts of us and really changing the consciousness of them. And once we focus on that, focus on where we want to go, use breathwork to get into the body, we integrate those pieces back into our wholeness, that's what helps us create sustainable transformation at the deepest level. So we're not going on a roller coaster where we feel amazing and then we feel like crap and we feel great and then it doesn't really stick and we're like, what's going on? Is it me? Maybe I can't do this. Maybe I'm just supposed to feel sad all the time. It's not true. Our natural state is love and light. Our natural state is abundance. Our natural state is feeling and resting and well-being. That doesn't mean that life's going to be easy all the time. Of course, life gives us content in order to strengthen us and allow us to have the capacity to do hard things, of course. But when we do it from a place of power and we do it from a place of intuition, there's something that emerges within us, a deeper power that emerges within us. And we can't reach these deep parts just using the mind. We have to use somatic practices. We have to use breath work to get into the body. If you desire to go a little deeper into this, I've recorded a totally free training that you can check out in the comments of this video, but it will really support you. And if you're a coach, healer, facilitator, it will support you in helping your clients through using breath work as a practice, as a path of liberation. Hope you have an amazing day and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.